Hi everyone, it's Krista. I just got back from Toledo um, Saturday. I had an appointment with my um, surgeon that put my pacemaker in up there. And um, without going into too much detail about that, sorry about the ums by the way, I I went ahead and stopped just for like brief run in seconds to Joanne's and Michael's because I've just not been doing well health wise. Um, just exhausted basically you know trying to keep up with kids and such so I wanted to go ahead and show you a few things I got I just stopped at Michael's and I just stopped at Joann's I didn't look around so whatever was basically near the front of the store is pretty much what I picked up so um at Michael's oh sorry about the ums I hate when people say um and I'm apologizing they had this recollections cardstock paper stack it's their Halloween and it was on clearance from four dollars to two dollars well like a dollar ninety nine from three ninety nine to dollar ninety nine so I got those there are twenty five sheets in it and the colors you see there are the colors that are in there. I kinda wish I would have got more but I thought those would be great to use and I have been trying to find the rub ons because I had gotten some of those stamps, you know the vision ones and the glasses and such but I didn't get any of the keys and that's the main reason I went in there. I wanted some of the keys and I wanted some of those um Oh, I'm so sorry. I wanted some of the little dollar clear stamps that everyone's been getting that are like the sewing and the craft ones. And I cannot find those anywhere. And I don't have Michaels or Joann's near me. And this is like the first time I've had a chance to look. And I just, I guess I'm just not going to get them. Because I won't have a chance to get them and they're probably gone. And I really want some of these keys. But I did find the fly rub on. I wanted them. One of the key rub ons. When I mean the keys, I'm talking about the actual metal ones they were selling. And they say Discover. And the Vision. And the Take Some Time clock. So, let's see what else I got here. Oh, they had this on clearance. And it's the Life Stories. And it's printed on. Um, craft card stock and I absolutely love this paper stack I know a lot of you guys have probably already seen it but I'll go ahead and kind of scan through it so you can see they're really cute and they have so much information and different spots and there are like papers that actually have a little bit more to them I know the light's not great for this but so I mean it's really cute and it was marked down to just $7.99, so I picked it up because I like the cardstock. I like craft paper. This is a new thing for me, so but I started liking it. So I picked that up, and sorry about the noise. I also picked up because I hadn't been able to go to the store or see any stores when I w was able to go to stores with these uh, chipboard books with the tabs. So I picked up those. As most of you know, they're made by Michaels and they're a dollar. So I picked up a couple of those. And I was missing this wooden stamp, the Shine. I hadn't seen it before and I only had this one left as far as I know because I didn't see it anywhere else. So I picked that up. And that other chipboard book. And I also picked up the Discover little book that everyone's been picking up also with the key. I only had one of those, so I picked it up. And I found this cute little dollar stamp, and it says Color Your World. I thought those would be great for come spring. These little flowers. They're adorable. These were all a dollar. This is really cute. I like the bird. That's why I picked it up. <laughs> I'm so weird. I can't help it. And then this says, Bloom Where You're Planted. I like that the G Studio is doing like Prima did with including the bling. Very cute. And then this solo stamp that I hadn't seen before, and it says, What I Love Today. So that's, oh, sorry, two more other things, real quick. I also found one of the bird cages. Well, I found two of them, but I got. Oh, they had a few more. 
I bought two bird cages. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. My brain is just really exhausted. So I got this cute little black one. And I like this orange one. I would have loved it if they hadn't if I could have got a few more, but this was the only one I have. I would love to got a few more and spray paint them to what color I wanted. And then at Joann's, I stopped and picked up a few things. Hold on, why am I Joann's back? Oh, there you go. That's right, guys. It's really just not organized at all. And I picked up these um, G Studio stamps. This is, I mean, glitter glue. See, my brain is so dumb. I also stopped there to look for dollar stamps, and they didn't have any either. But this is orange. I didn't have it. And a green. Be great for Christmas. I didn't get red because I have some red and Elmer's glue. Probably should have got it, so I had this then. Oh well. I'm not going to be able to get him, so. In this kind of yellowish color. It's really cute. And then I got some of their little chalk paints, the G Studio chalk paints kind of like a dark brown and this is silver I don't have any other chalk ink pigments so that's the one I wanted because I like the chalks it kind of makes a more muted kind of color which is good to have when you're doing vintagey stuff and white and the black And then kind of like a dark eggplant purple. Really pretty. I can't wait to try this out. And the last two things I got are basically the same thing. Um, but they have a new company that's selling dollar stuff there. And let me look on the back here. Oh, it's Kane Company. Kane Company has started Studio 112. And these are their little trinket tags. And they have another kind, but I really like these the most. The only thing I have to say, be careful, because they come apart very easily. But they have some really cute little styles for their tags. Absolutely love them. Lucky numbers. Sorry, I know the lighting's not great. See, they fall apart very easily. It's kind of got like um, airmail kind of thing in the back with the piece of paper on the front there. That's kind of like a map with paper on the front for journaling. And then this one's really cute. Loved it. It's a postcard. And then ledger. And some kind of writing. I mean these are really cute. And then last but not least they have a bingo. They have a few other ones I know I didn't show. But yeah those are made by Kane Company. I just realized that by looking on the back here. I don't know if you can see, probably not. This right here, K and Company. Dot Studio 112. It's not their website, but they do have the website here, K and Company .com, So, more proof that that's who makes it. So, I know to K and Company, please make the little edges a little bit sturdier to hold it all together because I hate that these, I don't, I don't have to fix it so they don't come apart. But that's my haul, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week, and be sure to message me, and don't forget to check out my blog, it's in my information, and I hope you guys just have a great week, and goodbye.